Welcome back, YouTube. First, let me apologize for my voice. I think I'm starting to come down with something. I've been coughing wickedly all day. Uh, so with that, let's continue. This week, I want to talk to you about a failure that I had. If you remember way back when, when I started this channel, one of the first projects I did was to build some chairs for the back for my front porch. Well, one of them finally failed today. This guy right here was one of the arms. Very comfy chairs, by the way. What happened was uh, my friend Gabby was over last night. And now I get to say that I'm making fun of her in a video. Uh, she was over last night uh, just to hang out for a little bit. And she went to sit down and she rested her arm on the chair. Thing just fell off straight, like without even, with barely even touching it. What happened, and this is completely my fault, is that if you noticed, if you notice here, I pre-finished everything on the chairs as best as I could before installing every piece. I did this in the hopes that I would get a better overall finish on the chair, and it, it worked. Uh, the finish looks great on the second chair that I did. The first chair I finished everything after it was assembled, and that was a disaster. Well, not a disaster, but could have been much better. So, I guess the moral of the story here is to follow instructions. What I should have done is I should have taped off the area where this would be glued to. And not finish that area on the chair rail, and I'll show you that right now. You can see there was a clean break here. No, the lighting here doesn't really give you a good uh, good view of it and there's not a pretty clean break here as well and then on this area I just should have never finished the side I should have labeled it do not you know no finish or no glue or whatever so I mean that was you know mostly my fault um, and for this this piece here where the cup holder is Instead of making the disc as small as I did, I should have made it the whole size of this thing here. You know, got more of a glue-up area. Would have, would have, uh, probably would have looked better too. So guys, um, one thing I'd, I'd, I'd like to ask you guys is, uh, what successes and failures have you had with glue-up joints? Um, it took me, a, well, it took about a year of abuse for this thing to finally fail and there was a horrendous rainstorm last night it was raining sideways uh, and I think that's what contributed to the failure is it probably softened the glue just enough that when she put any weight on it it snapped because I've seen people sit on these uh, armchairs before on the on the arms before I've had people sit on the ch on the arms of these chairs before and nothing happened what I think I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to do this off camera because I don't have time today. Because I'm really going to sand this piece down. And I'm going to hand sand the, uh, the side of the uh, chair. And then glue it back together and clamp it. But when it's done uh, gluing, I'll probably run a few screws into it as well. For this piece here, I'm not exactly sure what I can do. I could probably run a screw up in here from the bottom. But, uh, I mean, other than sanding it and, and gluing it, there's not a whole lot I can do, I guess. So, guys, please let me know uh, what some of your failures are so I don't feel quite as bad in the uh, comment section below. And uh, no, thanks for coming out, guys. I'm sorry this isn't a better video, but I am feeling absolutely awful this week, and I apologize. Um, that's why I didn't get a video out late, earlier this, uh, this week either. I just, it's been a bad week. Let me know down in the comment section below some of your failures. Um, and not just your failures, but what you did to solve it afterwards. Uh, I would be very interested in hearing that. Otherwise, thanks for coming out, guys. And if you're new here, I release, well, to the best of my ability, new content every Monday and Friday. Every Mo Monday is a manliness Monday where I go over well, how to be a man, basically. Beard care, gentlemanly behavior, uh, uh, survival stuff. Gun, gun safety etiquette and then on Fridays I try to do a project video of one sort or another I actually just got a straight razor 
and I'm going to try and use uh, the handle's kind of junky on it. So it's a little, you know, two dollar straight razor from Pakistan. So what I want to do is I want to put a new handle on it uh, after I learn how to shave first. Uh, so guys, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see any any of that type of content. And uh, thank you for helping me make a better world one curve at a time. Hopefully I'll see you next time when I'm not sick.